The Realms of Gold by Alfred Noyes. Read for LibriVox.org by Jason Mills. Written after hearing a line of Keats repeated by a passing stranger under the palms of Southern California. Under the palms of San Diego, where gold skinned Mexicans loll at ease, and the red half moons of their black pipped melons drop from their hands in the sunset seas, and an incense out of the old brown missions blows through the orange trees, I wished that a poet who died in Europe had found his way to this rose red west that Keats had walked by the wide Pacific, and cradled his head on its healing breast, and made new songs of the sunburned sea-folk, new poems, perhaps his best. I thought of him, under the ripe pomegranates, at the desert's edge where the grapevines grow, in a sun-kissed ranch between grey-green sagebrush and amethyst mountains peaked with snow, or watching the lights of the city of angels glitter like stars below. He should walk at dawn by the lemon orchards, and breathe at ease in that dry, bright air, and the Spanish bells in their crumbling cloisters of brown adobe would sing to him there, and the old Franciscans would bring him their baskets of apple and olive and pear, and the mandolins in the deep blue twilight under that palm with the lion's mane would pluck once more at his golden heart-strings, and tell him the old sea-tales of Spain and there should the daughters of Hesperus teach him their mystical songs again. Then the dusk blew sweet over seas of peach-bloom, the moon sailed white in the cloudless blue, the tree-toads purred and the crickets chirruped, and better than anything dreamed came true. For under the murmuring palms a shadow passed with the eyes I knew, a shadow perhaps of the tall green fountains that rustled their fronds on that glittering sky, a hungering shadow, a lean dark shadow a dreaming shadow that drifted by but i heard him whisper the strange dark music that found it so rich to die and the murmuring palms of san diego shook with stars as he passed beneath the paradise palms and the wild white orchards the night and its roses were all one breath bearing the song of a nightingale seaward a song that had outsoared death End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.